Okay, so for our second problem, uh, let's read the problem. Determine the acceleration of the system because the block A, the cylinder B, and the block C are all uh, interconnected by a cable. So the question is the acceleration of the system and the tension in each cable. The inclined plane is smooth and the coefficient the coefficient of kinetic friction between the horizontal surface and the black C is 0.2. So, um, uh, this is a system of uh, particles or a system of bodies, uh, which sizes can be uh, uh, represented as particle. So, again, uh, systematically, uh, let's write the given. So for A, B, and C, I think um, given he here is first is the mu case C is point two, and the mu K. Um, a is zero because it says here that it is smooth. Okay, so for the required, uh, the question is the tension in each cable. Okay, the tension in each cable. So we go now to the solution. So for uh, free body diagrams, I'll just draw or uh, I'll just draw them here on the space diagram. So first, let's start with A. You have weight, uh, uh, Wy, Wx, we have the normal force, the reaction to Wy. We have the tension. Of course, it is going away from the body because we are uh, analyzing the FBD, and the FBD is... Uh, uh, the accounts for all the forces that act on the body. So the tension here is acting, uh, pulling as pulling on the black A. So it is in that direction. So I'll just call it T sub 1. Okay. So there are no friction forces between the A and the incline. So let's go now to B. So for the B, um, I think I have to draw it here to enlarge because it's so small. So first we have the weight. Oh, okay. So I'll just write W A here and then W A Y W A X. So this is W B. Okay. So there is a tension upward which is T sub 1 because we assume that the tension is evenly distributed along the length of the rope and of course there's another rope that connects B and C so that would be another tension T sub 2 okay so that's for FBD of cylinder B so for the C we have the weight of the C the normal force that acts on the C that acts on the A the tension there is a tension here that is T sub 2 and of course we have the friction force FK okay so that's all for the FBD diagrams for block A, cylinder B and block C we're now ready to formulate the equation of motion for each of the objects let's start with A okay let's start with A so for A We have, uh, let's assume first that the motion is in this direction. Because uh, <laughs> there is no other way that block C would move in that direction. There is no other force. Because FK is just a resistance force. It is not an action force. Unlike WAX, that is an action force that, that has a potential to move the system 
uh, on the left uh, direction. So this is a good assumption, V, a realistic assumption. So for A, um, again, as I always start with the direction that has a static equilibrium. So again, let's establish the x, y. This is x, the y. Uh, the same for this. This is x, the y. The same for c. This is x, this is the y. So for A, um, summation of forces along y is 0. That would be Na equals to Way. Next, the summation of forces along x is not equal to 0, but Ma, A, x. Okay, the acceleration of block A on the x direction. So that would be Wax minus T1 is equals to M A A X. Okay. So for B, let's go for B. Um, of course, the motion is upward. And here we're looking here. B. There's no forces along X. That would be zero. So let's go to Y. That would be M A B. No need to explicitly write sub y, I guess. So that's just it. So the force is at t sub 1 minus wb. We know that it is y, but for consistency, let's just write sub y minus t sub 2 is equals to m a b pi. So this is equation 1, this is equation 2. So for C, uh, we have uh, first summation of forces of y is 0, and C is equal to WC. Next, we have summation of forces along x is not equal to 0, but MACX. So the forces are T2 minus FK equals to MACX. And let's just finalize this equation. We know that Fk is mu k n, mu k, of course that that's for c, and the n here is w c. So this is equation three. All right, all right, all right. So we have two tensions, t one and t sub two. Hmm. If I'm going to add all these equations, equation 1, 2, and 3, I'll just ar uh, arrange them all. It's equation 1, equation 2, equation 3. W, A, X, minus T sub 1, equals to M, A, A, X, T sub 1, minus W, B, Y, minus T sub 2, equals to M, A, B, Y, and the last is T2, minus mu k c w c plus to m a c x if i'm going to add all these equations t sub 1 and t sub 2 will get cancelled out correct add all these to result 2 w a x minus w b y and minus mu k c w c is equals to uh, all this. But to simplify further, the acceleration of a a, a b, and a c are just equal because they are connected. So I'll just write a outside and write m a. Oh, I forgot to write m a here. <laughs> m b and mc so in ma plus mb plus mc because the acceleration of these bodies are just the same okay so what can we get from here it's the acceleration because wax wby 
mucase, CWC, and the masses of all the objects or the bodies are given. So we can solve for A. After that, acceleration can be used to solve back here. We can solve either here to solve for T1 and back here to solve for T2. Okay, so first let's solve uh, for the value of A. I think I'll have to write here at the top WAX is 25, 25G, but X uh, sine 30. We sine 30. That's for the WAX. Minus WB. WB is 5. 5 gravity. That's for WBY. There's nothing to add. Uh, sine or cosine minus mu k c mu k is 0.2 uh, w c is just 10 g okay is equals to a the mass of a is 25 plus the mass of b is 5 and the mass of c is 10 of course all are in kilogram so so um, yeah so for a 25 times 9.81 times sine 30 minus 5 times 9.81 minus 0 0.2 times 10 times 9.81 divided by 25 plus 5 plus 10 1.35 the acceleration is 1.35 meter per second squared. Yeah, that's one of the questions. So let's box it. the acceleration of the system. And the tension edge cable here, WAX, is uh, 25G. X is sine 30. Minus T1. MA is uh, 25 kilogram. The acceleration is 1.35 meter per second squared. That's it. And for the tension, we have uh -huh. 25 times 9.81 times sine 30 minus 25 times 1.3. 88.90 Newton Okay, so for the tension 2 Either we can use equation 3 or equation 2 But I'll go for equation 3 uh, We're running out of space so I guess right here somewhere minus mu k c is 0 0.2 w c is 10 g is equals to the mass of c which is 10 kilogram times the acceleration of the system which is 1.35 meter per second squared the tension is equals to um, 10 times 10 plus 0.2 times 10 times 9.81 33 hmm 33 yay yes 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 I think that's that's just fine yeah let's check 10 times 1.2 uh, plus 0.2 times 10 times 9.81 33.10 10. so the tension 2 which is this is less than the tension 1 uh, it should be so because tension 1 is also carrying the weight of B and weight of C so it just makes sense that the tension 1 must be greater than the tension 
2 because it carries more weight than the cable here so that's it this is the acceleration this is the tension for the cable 1 and tension for the cable 2 so if we just uh, if you think about it you can actually uh, there's actually a shortcut for that for this kind of problem because here we can see that these forces uh, act in the direction of the motion the direction of motion is this correct so what are the forces that are aligned in this uh, path that act on each uh, body so for a that would be wax so yes you just write it and what about for b what is it in b that opposes that action force wax it is wby that the weight itself of the b is and for C, what is that? Resistance. It is friction. So the friction, kinetic friction of the C, which is in this direction, and the weight itself of the B, which is in this direction, both of them are in line of the path of motion. They are resistance to WAX, which is in line of this path of motion. There is no tension here. Correct? So all you have to do for this type of uh, problem, you have to write the positive action force and then subtract it uh, from all the resistance, provided that they act on the path of motion. And then you have to equate it with M A. Of course, the M is the total mass of A, B, and C, and A is the common acceleration.